Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Side Questing. I think that's going to be the new intro. Way to go, Red. You just made it into the first part of the show. Just just cut that piece out and use it. No, I'm not cutting it. This is it now. Oh. <laughs> this is the new right. Every time he comes in, he just has to sing it. <laughs> all right, Thanks, Red. <laughs> hand gesture and all. Yes, there's a 50 50 percent like there's a 50 percent chance that i will leave that as the intro and a 50 percent chance that i will not so we'll see how it goes let's make it 75 (laughs) what's up everybody welcome to side questing i'm griff i got my buddies here chicken bucket and red we're gonna talk alliance versus horde which is what we were talking about at the end of last week's show which for us was like seriously two or three days ago (laughs) um but before we get into all of that fun stuff we have fun news who wants to talk about it? I will, I will, I will. Go, go, go. We finished Kara. We're not scrubs anymore. Oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have upgraded to scrub light. <laughs> you mean Let's scrub mask? The conversations we had during the final boss the entire time. Which was, don't talk to me, I'm doing things. That was. <laughs> are you over here? No, I don't know where I am. Watch out for the black balls. He's disintegrating me. Why did you get kicked off the edge? Oh, the there's the balls. I like Maka Mr. <laughs> tough shot over there. Oh, no, I got knocked off. Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Jump back out. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm dead. Like, oh, no. I, I disengaged and made it back on the ship. I did just did not quite make it to the top in time in order <laughs> to get heals. I was about maybe a yard away from reaching the top. <laughs> For those of you who have no idea, we're talking about the last boss fight in Kara. Um, mm. Hopefully, if you're watching this podcast, you enjoy WoW and you kind of know what we're, we're going on about. But yeah, we finally finished Kara. We did All we had to do was come back last night and do visit him. And we freaking did, man. We freaking did. Go team. He's Every down. one of you. He we were did. all playing like camping out for like 10 hours, too. We're like, this it is going to take like fucking three, all night. It took like three or four attempts, yep. I think. No, it took five we attempts. We had to get warmed up, five. though. Like, the first one was a freebie. I had to get warmed up. Did yeah. we use Hero on the fifth attempt? Oh, no, yes, yeah. Yes, we, we did. Were, we we like, rest Kratos. Well, no, we used it right at the beginning, like, as soon as we got in there, and then everybody's balls exploded and <laughs> got hit by everybody. He died. I rezzed him. Then we fucking continued nuking, and then when everybody got the second round of balls, yeah, that's right. I died, which was Do we know what that's normal. actually called? Can we just not call it chaos the balls? Called, they're called, we don't called, know what it's called, so we're it's just called calling shadow it Shadow Chaos. It's called Shadow, shadow Chaos. chaos. Shadow yeah, okay, chaos. that that thing. <laughs> That's fine. Third round second round of Shadow Chaos on the third on the on the third phase. Hit everybody. Tank died. Both DPS died. It was Baka left at zero percent health on the boss and me. And then yep. I, like I switched to my offense and I was like, die, bitch, die. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. But we got uh. it down. I was oh. so sad too. I knew as soon as I went down, like, because I was the tank, I was like, oh no, he's gonna destroy everybody, and this little tiny bit of health is gonna be it. And <sighs> no, fucking chicken came through. Nice job. Go Ooh. team. We're super excited about it. It's only taken what? Care's been out for what, like three, four weeks now? Let's not so, talk about that. Okay. Yeah. To be That's fair, fine. I love that feeling that I got. I, I don't get that feeling very often where you, you're working so hard at something. You're so close. The, the intensity is building. It, it, you're fucking flustered because you can't focus properly. You're so worried about dying. And, and then he dies. And it felt so good. And it's just like you see a little achievement that says guild achievement run this. <laughs> and like, That's oh. right. That's right. I got that. I was part of that. Oh, yeah. You lay on the ground dead. Hey, yeah. don't you judge that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I couldn't tell if you were two, 210 DPS when mine was 350. Oh. <laughs> oh. We, yeah, Red ended up dying, and, and Kratos, oh. who's our shaman DPS, yeah, he, he got rocked twice. Died. Like, twice every fight, he just up and died. He gets uh, so sad. I'm just like, I'm so sorry, Kratos. Why do they hate you so much? Yeah, visit him's like, that guy in particular, fuck that guy up. Uh, that, la- that last was phase great. was so ridiculous though having 10 ads plus the boss <laughs> and three fucking things of chaos orbs imagine the stuff on me as a tank where everybody's screaming Ooh. i've got ads on me i'm like i know they're aggro resets i can't help you i don't they're have aoe talk around. shut up well i mean i've got my shield that hits everybody in aoe anyway because i've got the point in the artifact weapon but i mean that there's only so much i, I had to shadow meld during that fight <laughs> i was like get off me yeah and just I, spam I had, healing. like pain death i kept trying to use misdirection every time i could to keep them off me and yeah even then they're just like no no we want you 
Man, that, that was a good time, though. <laughs> but he's dead. I know, I know. Everybody's we like, oh, we don't care. But, you know, because everybody's in guilds that have already downed Kara like once a week since it came out. But whatever. We're super excited. Let us have this moment. Yep. Let us have it. it. It's awesome. It was totally worth <sighs> it. We worked for it. It was so good. It was so now good. Now we need to get more people and start doing raids. Ooh. I know. So if you want to join a, a guild on Eridar and raid, you just let us know. I know we're on like a PvP server and we're asking you if you want a PvE, but. It is what it is. That's where we're There's at. There's also, so if you're though, on any of its little groups, let us know. Wildhammer is PVE, if I remember right. I thought they're no. all PVP servers. They're they are. It's uh, Aerodar Spinebreaker, oh, yeah. Wildhammer, and Wildhammer, and Gorfin Best Server. Gorfin Best yeah, Server. Yeah, Best Server. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, but yeah, hit us up, Alliance side, if you wanna wanna raid. Speaking of Kratos, um, and how he is a Draenei Shaman, like, there was this thing going around Reddit right now where it was a uh, knock, knock, tune dance, but it would speed up every time they said knock, and I'm sitting here like, I know what this dance is! <laughs> what is this dance? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's the Draenei dance! I didn't, it took me, I um, watched it today like three times, like, why does that dance look so familiar? And then I played WoW, I'm like, eh, it's a Draenei dance. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I had no idea when you were like the such and such dance. I was like the what, and you started doing it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I, it's like when you go and sit down and you watch where all like the ideas for each race's dance came from. I'm like, first off, who at Blizzard watched this video? <laughs> so, who at a, who at Blizzard approved this video? <laughs> I just had to find uh, a bunch of different dances for each race. Somewhere, <laughs> never accept no as an answer because somewhere. Somebody accepted the fact that sharks made a tornado. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's let's jump back into where we were at with last week's show, which is where the Horde and Alliance are at now, um, and where where we think they're going to go from here, how things are going to play out now that we've got this tension between Sylvanas and not just Greymane, but the Alliance as a whole. We've got Anduin, who wants to be more cooperative, um, but... See, I don't know a whole lot about what's going on Horde side right now. I don't know how they're dealing with this as well, and how they feel about Sylvanas doing what she's doing with the Valkyr and everything. Did anybody look into any of that? No, but I can only imagine that some of the Horde are very skeptical with her leading. Especially mm -hmm. the Horde, or the Orc leader and the Troll leader. I'm pretty sure everybody's just kind of like, Alright, fine, Vol'jin named her War Chief, but she's no War Chief of mine. There is no you think he did it because he didn't have much of a choice? There's going like, to be a racial time. leader for everybody. He may not be very right. well known, but there and, is um, a leader. Sylvanas was mainly regarded as the leader after Vol'jin died. One, because he dubbed her that. He said, I had a vision, you will lead our race, blah, blah, blah. He even Into said that ground. he doesn't trust her, and I really don't like you. But because the Loa said that you are to be the one to lead us, then I'm going to go ahead and... Same. Shit, maybe he said uh. that so they could never, so she could never do something sneakily. Maybe they put her in the limelight so she can't be stealthy behind the walls. Who knows? She oh, tried, bullshit. but She's she failed. Do it anyway. Yeah, no, she. I mean, look what the fuck she was doing with the bug here. Yeah, I, mean, I just. But she used her needing to reinforce the Forsaken as a as a cover for her real intentions for that, which is her own freaking immortality. Oh. Yep. Is yep. there still are there still orc guards in Undercity? No, I don't think so. I don't know. So. I haven't been in Undercity in forever. No, I, I don't know think so. After the whole Garage, mm -hmm. you know, put her in check and everything, when Garage died, she pretty much got put out of check. So, wow, Garage was actually right about something. Um, Everybody knew was, that she was... After Arthas right. died, she became a loose cannon. Yeah, she's been I've dangerous seen, like, no, for a while. Are there any Alliance camps outside of Stormheim? Like, Alliance and Horde camps. I know, like, in Azura... Or, I'm sorry, Azuna and Val Sharath, they're all neutral. Everything's neutral there. Is there any alliance, horde, area Greywatch. conflicts Greywatch. over there? Greywatch no, no. The... Outside of Stormheim. No, oh, there's uh, no horde or alliance camp so. anywhere. Everything's neutral because I'm thinking with the introduction of the Argus patch, when no, we go out there, definitely. maybe we'll, maybe we'll see a little bit more. Right now, with the content we're given, though, it it's put all of our focal points into dealing with Helia. And then um, getting ready to go into, um, what's it called, Majiggy? The Broken Shore. So, uh, Tomb of Sargeras? Broken Shore, Tomb of Sargeras, They've yes. even said that once Broken Shore comes out, our class halls become basically our, our areas to work out of. Our, we personally may not like the other faction, but our class hall leaders and the people we work with are basically like, shut the fuck up, we're working together, we've got a much bigger threat to deal with. So work, Horde and Alliance have to work together 
That's it. Period. Don't even try to fight but it. But it's it's so hard to trust the other you side. You don't have to trust the them. That you just seen. have to we not have to kill work together. Them. You do have to you trust. You just don't have to kill them while you guys are working towards the same thing. Are you watching the deny video as we speak? Please no, stop. I'm trying to calm the rage down because you two are starting to get a little hostile. So I'm like, just maybe doing a little dance. No, that creates for better entertainment. It shows passion. <laughs> Chicken and I have several hostile conversations a day. It's because mm-hmm. when oh, we yes. both disagree, we're like vehemently on opposite sides. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're married, I so know, well right? Yeah. It's ironic. We <laughs> get into arguments here. We're still married. I, I I just really like hope with the coming stuff, like before we get into Elisan's area and Broken sh- what are the, Argus is coming first or is no. Elisan coming first? Elisan is coming before the Broken Short. Nighthold Raid is coming, I think, in 7.1.5. Yeah, because that neat. I mean, it feels overdue at this point, but I get why it's overdue. It's still not ready. I don't but know it's like, if you guys have noticed, but in Suromar, the war actually has gotten more and more and more advanced. Like there are I've blood elves, noticed. there are blood elves and night elves in Suromar fighting now. I have really? not noticed this. Are they fighting each other? No, the blood elves and the night elves are working together to push into Suromar. Now, I, by Blood Elves and Night Elves, do you mean Demon Hunters or, like, Paladins no. and, like, Ruids? Tyrande and her Night Elves and whoever's leading Ooh. the Blood Elves. Uh, they're standing outside and now they're pushing their way in. You don't you don't Why? think this is going to cause a conflict between them, do you? I think if anybody's going to work together, it'll be those two. But what like, happens... Like, of all of the faction... Uh, let's like say Elisan gets knocked down, though. They will uh, let the they will let the knight or whoever they are the nightborn the, the nightborn yeah, night take care of themselves like but they're still all elves in an aspect but Tyrande not going to come in and be like you're ours and the other person's not going to come in and be like you're ours it's going to be like I, I don't know about Lord Thramar. he kind of it's seems not like that Lord leading who's leading who's leading them now it's Lord Thramar. I don't think he's the one outside uh, leading the charge into... He might not be leading the charge, maybe but Lorthamar is the blood elf then. reader. It may be something that he's not personally involved in at the moment. I mean, like, he it's is a from a satellite position, but he's got, um, like, an avatar there that's taking care of, or a regent that's taking care of things for him. It might. If it's the uh, one chick that I'm thinking of that used to... The she used to lead the paladins, yeah. Yeah, Lady Lee. Yeah, I, actually, I think that's who it is. I think it's Lady Isn't Lee. Isn't she Etrin. still with the Paladins? She is, but she's. I saw on that pop duty. up. What pop up? Pop Red up? Rings is now in World of Warcraft. Has now entered. Yeah, World I wanted of Warcraft. to fact check that. Yeah. Right, please, please do. She is basically the main road that goes into Suramar. You got Saranda on the left, and so and so on the other side. <laughs> so and so. That's how much we paid attention. While he's right. looking at that, I am gonna aside for a second and ask you another. Uh, thought piece, I guess. Um, we've got Horde and Alliance. We've talked about Greymane and Sylvanas and everything. What do we think is going to happen with yeah. Jaina Proudmore? Nice job, Baka. Uh, with Jaina Proudmore. She wanted, She's a dread to go, she wanted the revenge. She's a dreadlord. <laughs> She's a dreadlord. <laughs> Confirmed. She's I'd like no. to see this. Uh, She's um. just going to do something that's... I, I get a feeling she's probably just going to end up doing something out of her rage to try to harm the Horde, and it's going to end up bucking something up. Yeah, more or less. I think she's too far gone. Her, her, I totally understand where she comes from, and she's not thinking straight, but she needs to seriously stop and think about what the hell is happening right now. And I, I, like I said, I totally understand where she comes from. She got fucking nuked. She got betrayed. All this shit. Her king has been killed. She levels under city. And not under city, like the actual kingdom above it. She just levels all of it and causes someone I to I could actually it. see that happening. I could see her taking her rage out on Sylvanas and her people. And she's the most, she's it. the one of the most powerful mages. Like, even she's up there with Cadgar and the other five mages. Yeah, she's the strongest mage out of all of them. Like, oh, sorry, rephrase that. I would Khadgar, even say she is the Sylvan- strongest. Sylvan- and then Sylvanas, <laughs> Cadgar, and then Jaina, and then the other mages because they've all dubbed her as the strongest arc mage there is under Cadgar, because Cadgar kind of has you know he has a tish, he has all the power yeah, of true. the tower the at his hand. Yep, he, ha- he doesn't have the Guardian power. <coughs> he denounced that, but at the same time, though, he has all the information he'll ever need. He's right. besties with Medivh. Jaina, however, though, is actually just as strong as him, and it was demonstrated in a couple of cinematics, if you ever <coughs> notice. Khadgar can teleport up to about 150 people, and they have said that in lore. Right. Jaina can do about 100 people, which was actually huh. proven in Warcraft 3, because she teleported a whole garrison out. Hmm. Uh. Why I know that, I don't even know reasons 
I just thought that that was like an interesting because we saw her depart relatively like hastily after everything went down on the the broken shore or broken yeah broken shore initially. Um, she got mad and said, "I'm not gonna the Kieran Tor aren't gonna work with the Horde." And Anduin was pretty much like, "Yeah, you are." And well, fuck it, I'm done. Yeah, and she's like, "I'm out." It's like the one time that I've ever agreed with Jaina Proudmore. I'm like, "Yes, don't work with the Horde. It's bad for us." If I had to and guess, it, it, maybe what would happen is she would become overtaken by our big bad lurking in I'm the hoping, sea. And I'm hoping she doesn't get upset though, because well, I'm not upset, as in the sense of like, in addition <laughs> to them cry. not, in addition to them merging with the horde again and allowing them in, when you do your um, mage quests, you actually one of your quests, I think it's for the the fire staff. No, it's not the fire. Yeah, it's the fire staff. The fires, whatever one. Um, you actually find Aethys Sunreaver. He gives you information on where to get the fire staff. Heads, I see. It's an ice. It's an ice crown. And by doing that, you know, because he helped you find that, he comes back with you to Dalaran, and they discuss like, should we let him back in? And then I think the vote was like four to two. So it's like, so in addition to telling Janet we're gonna work with the Horde, you're now taking in back the people who betrayed her directly. In, and you're like an atheist is allowed to walk through Dalaran again. Oh yeah, she's what did not he do? gonna be happy. <clears throat> uh, he stole information. He actually he robbed from the Silverwing Sentinels, and he and he also aided Garage in mana bombing Theramore. Oh, yeah, that, no. Yeah, and that's gonna like, be real bad news. Yeah, that's cra- That's like war crimes. Forgiving war crimes. It is. It was but legit a war crime. You gassed a staffs. bunch of people. Come on in. And they stole. Yeah. I forgot what they stole. I think it was us. Uh, I think it was a bell or something, and then Garage used that to go and steal the thing in Mist of Pandaria. Heart of a jar, jar, yeah. jar, jar, and I pretty much a it. lot of stuff up. Yeah, yeah. If he was one of the ones that was his cohorts during the whole thing. I can totally understand why she wouldn't allow him back in, especially the nuking of Theramore. That yeah. shit was I mean, uncalled that for. Was... That killed fucking Ronan. How the that hell that killed you... the leader of the tier, the Kieran Tor. I don't know how yeah. that even. How that was even a fucking. Oh yeah, maybe we should let it back. No, you killed. It's like yeah, when you helped us recover the staff. A yeah, you also killed our leader. And Ronan was there for everything. He was there for Alex Straza getting kidnapped. He. I don't even. He's know been anymore. around forever. Yes. Yeah. He's a pretty important guy. Yeah, I I don't know why they would decide that that was a good idea. It's. I feel like it, Jaina's in a place right now where she's looking at everybody that she's ever trusted and going, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's kind of like America, actually. How did we get here? Um, but yeah, it's it's like all this bad shit's happening right around her, and something awful is going to happen because of that. And then you can't 100% fault her, even. Okay. It's That's a lot to throw on one person, especially and the something only like person, that where you're letting somebody back in. And the only person to ever be able to reel her in is now dead. Yep. Marion, Marion was gone. the only person that was able to kind of hold her back, and with him gone, she's going to fucking explode like a goddamn nuclear device. Well, think about this. There were four major things that also affected her well. Like, if, first off, she fell in love with Arthas. Look how that turned out. Oh. He wasn't Second the off, Lich King at the time. Yeah, he, he, he but tried. she saw, if you read yeah, the novels, though, he, in the novel, like, she sees him, when he first sees the Scourge, she sees him change into what he becomes. Yeah. Uh, the mm-hmm. second thing was is her best friend Thrall it was pushed aside by Garrosh and nobody would listen to her about it. Thirdly, uh, you have Varian dying, which breaks her heart because that was like, you know, they've been they've known each other since childhood. She met him when he was three years old. And then, of course, four. I'm sorry. No, not three. She was three. He was seven. And then four, you have now you have her her kingdom just got destroyed and nobody will do anything about it and she's like everything she's ever loved or cherished keeps getting wrecked she's like if no one will take care of me i'll take care of it myself then yeah she's gonna and you know what i imagine she's gonna have rebel mage support like it's one of those things that i think i think she's gonna be able to pull people to her side especially alliance people within the kieran tour because that's a lot of stuff and she wasn't the only one that lost people in theramore Illyrian Windrunner is still heavily against the Scarlet. Not the Scarlet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> against the Sun Reavers. She could also be corrupted by the Legion as well, especially if, uh, like, Sargeras or someone starts talking with her. Yeah, that's that's definitely a dangerous she's on a, path. She's on a dangerous, on. dangerous road, but, I mean. Can Wargans be Mage? What? 
Can Worgens be mages? Yes. Worgens? Worgens? Yes. yes. Yeah, I think so. Yes, Worgens can be mages. Yeah, mage. my mage is a worgen. What the fuck? Because what, what I still find weird about Whatever a human Dalaran, can be, a, a worgen can be. It's like they don't have undead mages as the guardians of your area, or even like worgen mages. You have like undead warriors guarding your area, and you have worgen warriors guarding your area. It's just like, I feel like this isn't the city of magic. But if you put it in... To, uh, into perspective in Dragon Age you have Templars who are completely against magic like you can't affect them with magic warriors and I think that what they wanted to do is kind of the same thing you try to cast they shield bash you you try to teleport they can charge to you basically they will tear it's your ass up it's to negate up. the magic yes it's right. literal guardian so if the other side tries to attack the warriors will, will slaughter the mages it's to keep everybody on their own side that's why I kind of think it's all warriors guarding it may not be entirely You know, I did not make that is. correlation with the the Dragon Age thing. I had not thought about it like that, but that is that is pretty accurate, I would say. Because paladins aren't really... They're more against demons. Warriors are more against, like, the casters. You can't spell reflect. Uh, shield bash. You want to use your intellect to use this on me? I'm going to hit you with my face. Pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I feel. If, to keep everybody's temp temper down, they use warriors. Uh, Red, did you ever make it to Surmar? Did you see who's standing on the other side I'm of the road? I'm in Surmar. I just didn't want to, like, look away too much because... <laughs> no, it's Because you don't want to die? Well, that in fact, like, I see, like, part of my screen and everything can see stealth for a minute. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I need to vanish and they don't notice this while I'm doing this because I don't want to distract us from the conversation. No, it's cool. If you take the main <laughs> portal... Oh, yeah. So I see um, Dawn Guard. There is a Dawn Guard... What are they fighting? It is a Dawn Guard... What is it? A Bloodlust? Blood... Blood Knight. So, so it would probably be Lady Leandrin. And then over here is the sh is uh, Fist of the... Oh, who are you? Oh, the Shaldorai are fighting back. Okay. Yeah, the Shaldorai. Everybody, it's basically evolving into this big event where we go into the Nighthold and finally take down Elisan and end the treaty between the Nightborn and the fucking the, Legion. Uh, Legion. That'd be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was seeing a video a while back where it showed like it looked Be like careful. a lot of the ones that were in there. Uh, uh, there were are a couple no of longer... videos out that are big spoilers. Oh, yeah, well, don't get I mean, the spoilers. The only thing I was going to say on this one is that it looks like they they don't have the addiction anymore. Okay, and spoilers. Someone... Voldemort dies on page. <laughs> so we're gonna like cure them of their addiction. Uh, you can't I cure them so, because maybe? I don't yeah. see you curing them. I see though, like for instance. Because the reasoning why they're addicted is because that shield went up when the Legion attacked them. They had to rely on that no matter what. For their magic. They used to be able to use the layways. Like how we have um, that location we're in right now. We have all those ley lines coming through. Those mm -hmm. all used to fro flow freely. And when that shield came up, nobody's on the outside. And if you were on the outside, those lays fell down. So you couldn't have that man. It's like, it's like um, the Blood Elves. They were all High Elves. But when they got when they had their well taken away from them, they became mana crazed. They became arcane crazed. They couldn't not feed on it, so they started killing people until they got their mana. Little oh, crackheads. So once and they the get back well in their city, different. yeah, they'll be able because, to feed again. Right, and the night elves. The reason why they banished that was because they knew what would happen with it. And the reason was is the moon well doesn't cause any form of addiction. The moon well is just pure nature. There's no arcane energies to it. You're not abusing any ley lines. So you're just going off of what you have coming through the air. The druids learned how to use that. And then all the night elves adopted to that, even those who weren't druids. And then when the, you know, the night elves who left and created um, Dire Maul and had all the arcanes out down there, you saw how that turned out. The ogres started smelling the arcane energies. And the ogres took it over because... Man, it can only help you so much when there's a giant mace hitting you in the face ten times over. And we go yeah, back to that true. warrior versus mage thing. I mean, you're going to get yep. overrun eventually. Little magic missiles and fireballs. Pew, 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 pew. It bash, only works bash, for bash. so long. I'm having, I magic missile your belly button. <laughs> no, it doesn't just deflects well. back off and bounces onto the mage again. He Does. just kind of scratches himself. Did you see who was outside, standing outside over there? With uh, there was no name. I didn't see any named ones. I probably have to go farther out, but I just saw like the actual like standard units. I'll go into the street. I just if you hear me screaming why and maybe accidentally curse, you'll know that something ganked me. Uh. Accidentally curse. My Ooh. curse isn't an accident. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and continue. If I look at the map, I can tell you exactly where they should be at. 
on the main and road. And then everybody else can uh, go find them. Yes. What is? Because I don't remember running into them, so. Oh, but well, again, here's... Hey. Yeah, it's on the main road. Is that a dragon? No, it's an owl. Right where you see the night hold, the green? That yep, road there's, right okay, there. Okay, I see him. So there's a, there is an ancient defender here. In the middle, I haven't seen either of them yet, but I'm looking. So there are Karen Tor defenders right here in the center. There are And then on the sides. Trees. I'm by the main entrance. And keep I don't going see out. Them. It's like after the big archway thing, you keep going. Tehran. If you're going out from oh, somewhere, it should be Taronda on the okay, right. Okay, so yeah, on the right-hand side, there is... That is Taronda, Whisperwind. Okay. And then on the Left other side, side is... Where are you at? Don't see them. She should be directly across. I see a couple um, Dawnguard Knights, um, two Kirin Tors. Are you sure there's a uh, oh, name here we go. somebody yep, on the Yep, Lady Leodrin. Okay, so yeah, okay. those two are working together to help free their their brothers and sisters from the Legion control and Lady Alessandre so what if it's not I mean what if it's one of those things where like you had mentioned it's not the actual leader of the blood elves that are there helping what if when when they've settled things he does want to come in and kind of assert dominance and take things for himself Lady Leandra won't let him I, I've seen her in the yeah, paladin hall and she neutral. is she's a boss man if if Lorthamar tries to talk up to her, she'll talk down to him because she's on his council and she has she, a lot she of She learned from Uther just like Arthas did. Yeah, he's got she's got a lot of words to say. So I don't think he'd be able to be like, We're taking this over. She could be like, No, and he's like, Okay. Alright, because Paul. also she <laughs> controls what what? No. She controls most of the military because most of the pal most of the military is Palad. Um, Blood Knights. Blood Knights. And they will follow her. Regardless of what Lorthamar says. Yep. And especially mm -hmm. you, now that you're the paladin leader, they, and she works with you. As long as you're kind of like, we're just going to let the uh, the Nightborn be the Nightborn. Right. Then, the hell, that may even be the next race in the next expansion. You get to play a Nightborn. Start off in a reformed Suramar. That would be and Can we not, please? The Nightborn Every starts on both can sides. We not? <laughs> yeah, can we not? Just, yeah, I'm good not being that. <laughs> So I'm gonna, have, her, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a nightborn demon hunter who was once a panda. Griff just also really wants to, to play Naga. Knight. No, I do. I want Naga to be the race so bad. Do you really? <laughs> I'll even play have, the shit out of a Naga. You have to lose an item slot because where the heck are you gonna put boots? <laughs> On the end of boots. my tail. No, on your head. <laughs> you get half the you get half the stats then for one boot. No, you put them on your head. Like you put them on your horns, so you got boots on your head. <laughs> Uh, new race Naga confirmed. Uh, oh, make goodness. it happen, make it happen, Blizzard. Now I wear that that trinket or that toy so that I can uh, be the Naga. Be often. the Naga. Be the Naga. <laughs> be the in Naga. You. Be one with uh, the Naga. But well, yes. okay. Um, so we're not gonna let the Blood Elves take over Suramar. We've covered that. All right, fine. Right. What are we doing with everybody else? Like, where is everybody going to... Where are chips going to fall once we've kind of dealt with the Legion and we're back on our own again? Theoretically. Okay, you want to look that far ahead? Because I yeah, feel like I mean, that's going to be... When, what kind of king do we expect him to be? How do we expect the Horde to react to Sylvanas being their, like, overlord, essentially? Because you don't really... I don't see her looking out for the best interest of the Horde. I see her looking out for the best interest of the Forsaken. I, I think it was everybody Forsaken else is and secondary. her. I, I think it was Teddy Roosevelt that said, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick. I think that may be Anduin's. Like, he'll, he'll be diplomatic, but if you piss him off, he's going to fucking hit you real damn hard. He proved that in the web comics too. Yeah, I mean, he's he's very diplomatic, and he's very, very smart. He's got the best of both worlds. But goddamn, if he is not very in sun, he will hit you very fucking hard. <laughs> Especially since he's leaning to more become a paladin rather than just a priest. So he's well, we've gonna... seen that paladins, priests can be can become paladins because that's what happens in your paladin quest line. Yep. One of the priests that you help throughout that quest line actually ends up swapping over and becoming a paladin at the end of it. Yep. So it would open a door for Anduin to join the paladin order and become a paladin, and then he really will smite uh, smite Sylvanas's <laughs> undead ass. So, <laughs> did we ever learn True. what happened to Chalamet? I don't think so. Silence means no. Chalamet. It's still, it's still uh, just laying there. No, it's not. Uh, shit. The Legion has reformed Chalamet and twisted Varian's spirit into becoming a new Legion commander. Uh, oh, fuck that. Well, if you think about it, Chalamet, um, 
Barbarian spirit technically still does exist in Charlemagne. Maybe. Because he was split into two people. You know, I am me, and I'm also Logash. Yes. Yes, but he's one person now, but he wields both uh, personalities. And he can split them up, too. Yes, that's why you can... Kenny, I thought he lost the ability to do that. Well, he can't really split himself up, but he can... Well, no, but I mean, like, he can split his sword. He did that when he um, was on the broken shore. Because you see him come above the water, he, like, comes up like this and goes, Yeah, but that's just Varian's berserker. No, no, I'm not saying it was still in one. I don't feel like that was. I don't really feel like that was him going, I am now two people, though. No, 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 but I'm saying his swords still separate. Not him. Yeah, just but that's just that's just how they they work now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of all that, Split it's not or... him becoming two different people. He, it's yeah, not I thought jo- when it's they not Doctor like... Jekyll and Mister Hyde. <laughs> I <laughs> thought that when they kind of like put him back together, he was forever of one mind, essentially. Yes. Like he's always going to carry traits of both sides, but he will never be like one hundred percent Logash and then have to no, turn he that never off will. and be one because they're both his personality. Yeah. Which, oh my god, is he's not got one of the best backstories. <laughs> so. Are you looking it up still, Chicken? I'm trying. Do you know how to spell it? I would yes. imagine they would have been buried with him. Uh, that's what I think. But Did we get to go it back and recovered. get him? It wasn't recovered. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we got to go back. We well, barely got, know, we, we barely got tear. we barely got the fucking Ashbringer back. But that's the thing is, we did, we did go back, though. We went back, but not to the main area to where, like, mm-hmm. Gul'dan was at. Like, we got back to Tyrion, who was in the middle of BFE. Did, did Vol'jin have an iconic weapon that he ended up leaving behind? No, Vol'jin. Or anything? Vol'jin just had his war spear, and he just... Bleh. Bleh. I really feel like they kind of cheaped out on that. I guess it's because they had already kicked Thrall out, and he was the most uh, well-known of the Horde leaders. What is Thrall so. doing now? Where is he at? He is in Earth Order. Family. Yeah, he's, a, he, he's no, in he's, Orgrimmar. Yeah, but after this, he's giving up all of that. Cause what? Like, yes. He gave he, it up like two expansions ago. He's there now because he has to be. Yeah, but he wants to take care of his family, and he doesn't... He, he's basically carried this fucking universe on his back for so goddamn long. We'll talk he's like, I'm, again. I'm going to go ahead and be a family man now. And Bane's Yeah, well, a, some of us don't get that option, do we, Thrall? Bane's becoming a good leader too. At least, like he hasn't gotten much to do, but it's just like Bane's really f-ing cool in my opinion. Yep. Who's the leader of the goblins? And does it even freaking matter? Uh, what's his name? Pennywix or whatever the fuck his yeah, name is. Yeah, Gallywix. 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 Does it matter? I mean, I feel like I he's, feel like we don't hear a whole lot about them. He, because like goblins, there's really no story to them. They're greedy. There's your, there's your story. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they what, they run like cares? all the markets, and their their whole thing is gold. Yeah, like, there really isn't much story progression to them. They were used a lot, and they got back the people who used them. But, like, they have their area set up in Azura, and yes, I can say Azura for once and not Azuna. <laughs> they have their whole set up in Azura, and they're happy, and they're, you know, they still, like, sell each other for, like, two copper, because why not? My, bro- <laughs> my, co- my cousin's worth a copper, I don't care. Uh. But, like, there's not. It just sucks because there's really. They banked so much into their story that goblins are just paid people. I just feel like, as far as Horde and Alliance go, Horde usually gets a lot of stuff, like, preferential for them. But the Alliance, I feel like, have a lot better lore behind their leaders. Horde has just as good lore, I feel, for certain leaders. You just told me the goblins are pretty much garbage. The goblins are, 100%. Compared to the Worgans, they are just... Yeah, I mean, as far as lore goes, Thrall, Sylvanas are, are probably the two biggest... Yep, and we just lost Vol'jin, so we have no like no uh, ties to the person that's replacing him, the troll that's replacing him. We had Karn for a long time, or Karen Bloodhoof, and then um, he got killed off. Thanks, Garage. Thanks, Garage. Fuck yourself. Dying um, fire. But and his replacement hasn't garage. had a whole lot of time to to make a a big impression either. Like, there's not been a whole lot for them to do aside from stand here in Thunderbluff and enjoy this. Which would be a perfect reason as to why later on 2024 they they end it we're we know what happened are the heroes that we've known are dead then the world of warcraft is done we get warcraft 4 give us a whole <laughs> new universe all new characters for us to reattach to new leader of the or hell bane can still be alive 80 years later 100 years later hell 1000 years later we get new heroes Varian has his fucking tomb still there, and all of these things that is just, you know, lore to these people, we've actually lived. 
and then we get to play in a new universe. Uh, I think kind of crazy actually it puts a whole different perspective like you spend five years in between it but in this universe it's 1000 years in the future and everything that all these stories that people tell each other was you doing it you're like oh my god i'm running around with like machine guns and stuff by then it'd be closer to like a starcraft universe um we do have well okay we kind of got guns and whatnot but the good bonus also to like having warcraft 4 let's say we even went like just 30 years in the future whatever now Edwin's older, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I feel it's really hard to significantly impact a story in an MMO because in order to do that, you have to pretty much do a whole expansion for it. You have to remodel it. Like, let's say, for instance, Stormwind got attacked right now and got destroyed. Again. Okay. Again. Yeah. You, you can't, if, it, if it's an MMO, you can't just destroy it in, like, a patch. You have to have a whole expansion about it for a good while. With yeah. RTSs, like Dalaran, Stormwind, and uh, what's the kingdom... With Arthas, or uh, Lordaeron, Lordaeron, oh, Lord all three of those are destroyed in like four story quests yeah. because oh. we didn't have the open world to deal with. It's much easier to manipulate and destroy and build things in RTSs than it is open world MMOs because MMOs you can't just say like, okay, I've been questing in Dalaran for a while. Oh, uh, this patch of Dalaran just got destroyed because, and they give you a good reason. And they show you a lot of cool cinematics. People would fucking lose their shit if they just heard that Dalaran gets destroyed tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of yeah, how okay. it goes. Yeah, I'd give you that. I, I mean, feel I th- stories are... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I think as long as it's a good reason, Blizzard's gotten good enough with phase zones that you could get away with that. But I do think that people would have quite a um, an adverse reaction to, to it being that quick, you know. But I think if it furthered the story and it made you feel like you were progressing towards something bigger, I think that it would be okay. Like, it would be received all right in the long run. Even a good example here is Theramore. Um, most people didn't know there, Theramore. Wasn't. Well, no, that, and that was the thing. Most people didn't know Theramore got destroyed because most people didn't do the scenario. I Unless know. you did the scenario, you didn't see it. So it's just like, where? wait. And, and then when, um, what was it? Um, when Draenor came out, it auto did the scenario for everybody. So Theramore was destroyed. So people were like, wait, what do you mean Theramore is now destroyed? It's like, well, you didn't have to do the quest. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's a good way. That's a good way of handling. Well, they phased it really well, and like those who knew mm-hmm. did it, and those who didn't didn't. But at the same time, it was kind of a double-edged sword because it's like you didn't make that quest mandatory. Yeah, I I feel like anything that's gonna change a zone or a city or a hub or anything like that. I know that's not Theramore is not a huge hub or anything, but it is where the boat goes from uh, Ironforge. Or well, right outside of Ironforge, and um, it's significant. Uh, it's in um, wet, wetlands. Yes, thank you. I was like, the place with the crocodiles. We've been gone for so long, I don't know half the zones anymore. Is it wetlands? Yeah, Yeah, wetlands, wetlands. Which is also flooded. Did we ever get, like, a, here's what happened? That happened in Cataclysm, didn't it? Yeah, that water's not not going back. To be fair, they warned us about Cataclysm, and everything was changing. Well, they had huge events leading up to it. Yeah, Yeah. Westfall got fucked. Stranglethorn got fucked. Everything got shifted. The barons got split. Yeah, like, you talk about shifting the entire fucking game. They were like, all right, cool. All right, everything is different. Orgrimmar got built bigger. <clears throat> Sorry. Everyone likes the horde better. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, well, I think, I think this is a, a good place to wrap up with everything. We kind of uh, know sort of what we're looking at, but I think that there's still a lot left to explore with our factions and where we're going to go, and I, I think... I think our homework should personally be to maybe better familiarize ourselves with the Horde problems um, and their lore, because, yeah, I guess that would be beneficial to know. Yeah. Um, also, Shalomane, nobody Elves, knows you know, where it's at. What? And Shalomane, Shalomane. Should, st- should still be on the Broken Shore, which we'll probably be dealing with. It'll probably be one of the first things that we do once we go back to the Broken Shore. Anduin will give us Thank a God. fucking quest I'll to cry. go and get I'll it. I'll cry if Anduin finds it. If anything, we should give him, uh, give him to his uh give him to anduin or bury him with them because nobody should have that kind of power in a weapon mm, that's nobody true. could wield them like them also a lot of people were mad that the warriors didn't get them i was one of those people i'm kind of mad warriors yeah, no, deserve the warriors it. don't need them no the, the warriors I do feel not like the, warriors the, horde, got... the horde do not need to wield the blades Shall of man? varian and that's just my opinion you guys I will agree. what about doomhammer though well, I also Ashbringer. He stopped being uh, 
he stopped being part of the Horde a while ago when he joined the Earthen Ring. And as for yeah. the Paladins, the Paladins has always kind of come together yeah, as an order. Okay, fine. So the I'll neutral aspects, one. fine. Yeah, Warriors. The Paladins. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll shoot them afterwards. Especially you too, bitch. <laughs> Inside jokes, come on. Um, you need to hear Bach in his natural habitat. There's there's some good words that come out of him. When he well, I don't know it. what we're going to be talking about next week. Last week was easy because we just picked up a conversation and brought it on to this week's show. Um, but if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let us know here on YouTube. Um, you can also hit us up on Twitter at InfiniteResPC or on the website InfiniteRespawn.com. And let us know what you want our take on, um, want us to discuss, anything like that. If you're more Horde-leaning and you want us to do a Horde-centric show, you can shoot out some ideas and we'll see what we can do for you. Um, you have a Although question? we don't have much experience playing Horde. No, I have a note. Don't forget to adopt Mischief. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Red's super it's, crazy about It's $10 mischief. and all of it, 100% of proceeds go to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Blizzard Last is wonderful, years. wonderful about this. They love giving away. I mean... They give you a pet, and then they give money. They give your money to Make a Wish Foundation. It, it couldn't be it's any nice. better. I yes. kind of want the stuffed animal though. And it, it's a kitty. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want a kitty? I want a kitty. And I'm allergic. I think you could get. Uh, uh, I'm gonna mail you a box of kittens for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna be coming back on the show all swollen and like coughing and hacking and going. I'm <laughs> our largest. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back next week talking about something. We'll see. Um, and like I said, if you've got any suggestions, please feel free to let us know. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.